did you think of the data set? Yeah, very wordy. <laughs> I was like, what am I going to do with this? I mean, like, I thought of something. It's totally like not too much analysis. It's kind of like, hmm. hey, there's some interesting words here. Let's just feature some words. Okay. Yeah. Do you, do you want to see it? I do want to see. I yeah, want to see. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. I'm also curious if we did the same thing. There's yeah, I mean, like, I approached this like, let's just like get a bunch of words and show me some long words and some short words and give me some definitions. It was really fun because like I was able to like find a package. Wait, what? A, diff a different package that defines words. Uh, it's called dictionary with a capital R somewhere. Dictionary define. I was like, that's kind of sweet. And you know what they do? They uh, they actually have like, they use an API, like they hit an API somewhere. Okay. And they're able to get like audio as well, like audio links. So I thought, let's put some audio in this table. This table can speak to you. I mean, tables always speak to me, but this one can actually speak to you. Okay, so I wanted to do, what I wanted to do is get like the types of words. And these are like long intro words, basically. Um, I'm, I'm sometimes impressed with very long words. Like, well, yeah. About 15 letters and stuff. Right. Yeah, and there's some words like, I don't know how to pronounce, like, I would like to see them pronounced. So yeah. this is actually I'm... quite nice. So what I'm doing here is like, this This will show me like random words. It'll just pick from like those, you know, giant word lists from those crossword puzzles. Okay. And give me like five long words, give me five short words, define them. It's almost like word of the day times five. Well, times yeah. ten actually. Yeah. Yeah, so it's, it's good. So what I did was like, okay, so I got the, uh, you know, as I did before in the last table battle, I just sourced like uh, all the reading of like, you know, the tables. I basically just ignored all the columns, except <laughs> this is so bad for Tai Tuesday, like ignore everything except for one column. <laughs> uh, and basically I just got like all the words. And then I did some cleanup as I often do. Um, you know, made everything more case, made it all nice, sorted the long words from the short words. And then I hit this API, which, was you know given to you by this dictionary? Okay. Is it is it? I just searched for like you know a cram package that would be like you know offer me some definitions, and this is like a three star package that deserves more than three stars. So if you see dictionary around, give it, give it more star. stars. Yeah, yeah. Like it gives you, it does a lot. Um, this is some work here. That they've yeah, done. yeah. So I had to do a heck of a lot of stuff because like sometimes it would just give you like weird outputs. So I had to like do some pretty wild stuff to make it like work like yeah. this all this stuff so ignore this this is just basically just trying to like fish out like one like uh pronunciation like phonetic pronunciation out of okay. like possibly like a list which may be empty so <laughs> had to go through all this and then finally i get the audio link and here's a cool thing so i finally get to my gt table Okay. Another thing I noticed, um, the API hits doesn't always give you like a lot. Sometimes words don't oh. get defined. So basically what I do is I get 40 words and then I score them in terms of like what it offers in terms of metadata, like that's all this stuff. And then I sort them and just get the, the cream of the crop as it were. You know, like I basically descend by the score, slice the head, and then I get like, a, you know, like words with you know, some stuff to them. Like, you know, it has some metadata, like the pronunciation. Yeah. I did the same thing as last time. I uh, I made columns with, I, I defined the widths. Here's a really cool thing. You can like, in most browsers, well, all browsers circa a long time, you can now like use an audio tag and you mm. just provide the URL, which is what dictionary that R package does. And you just wrap like the URL inside these tags. And then you get like, you know, it's playable. You get like this little like audio player. Okay. Your, in your freaking table. Okay, so I'm gonna show you this. And like, there's some cases where you don't have audio, so I have to do this, basically, to make it work. Okay, uh, eventually it gets to the end. <laughs> I'm gonna show you this table, or this function, really. Show me words, I can choose from times or big Dave. So here we go with times. It takes like a few seconds, because it's doing some querying, like okay. doing some API stuff. Okay, here we go. What? Here we go. Here's a selection of words, both long and short. And uh, yeah, so it's sorted by long words, short words. And here, check it out, right here. This is where you get audio. See, sometimes you don't get the audio. Yeah. It's disappointing. Sometimes you just, just bad luck. Okay, hopefully this works. We'll, we'll hear, we'll hear some beans. Here we go. Beans. You heard that? Yes. You heard that? Okay, awesome, awesome. <laughs> Steel. Okay, I know these words. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this again. This is like rolling the dice one more time. Maybe Big Dave will provide. We got some. We got some hits. Uh, disproportion. Here we go. Disproportion. Nice. Well read. Degeneration. Same person. 
same resistance. Proportionate. Yeah. Oh, we've got a long word aficionado. Oh, did you know that Drake is a male duck? Drake. Mm-hmm. I don't know I... that I knew that. What is fichu? Fichu? Oh, fichu? fichu. Oh, well. It's a scarf. It's a now I know. <laughs> okay. Patrol. How do you pronounce patrol? Patrol. Patrol. Yeah, I mean, like, that's, it's got some Britishisms going on. But yeah, like, this is this is the final word. <laughs> on the it's amazing. Yeah, this is what I did. I didn't... This is what I... This is my, like, my little twist adding to the audio thing. This could be a shiny app. Yeah, it could be in a shiny app, I think. A word a day. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, because it's a function. And it just produces a table. It's got, like, a height, which I think I control. Because what I did is I also set the height. Um, Not so easy to do in a table if you have, like, overflow. So you have to sort of set it a bit beyond what you expect. Okay. Uh, there's probably a way to really fix it with overflow stuff, but I always can't figure it out. And like ten stack overflow searches later, I just give up. Uh, but I did this line height and then max height, then okay. height, and then oh, maybe this does something. Uh, maybe it was actually why. I, don't know. I mean, anyways, that's what, this that's made how it work. I feel for this. about overflow. Like I use it sometimes, and I think it fixes the problem, but I'm not confident. Yeah, yeah, you really gotta experiment, like in the uh, sort of like the uh, the dev tools. So I added a bunch of CSS. Um, the, and again, I'll just review this one more time. Uh, if you do that, it's really vitally important that you set the ID on the table, okay. just right here in GT. And then once you do that, the reason why you would do that is because, um, well, say so you have like a you know some document with a bunch of tables on it, uh, you just want to set the the typically you just want to set like the uh, the CSS for the one table you're focusing on. And not for every other table, so it just protects against like you know multiple tables. Oh. Yeah. So if you didn't okay. have this, it would just be like, maybe that's good, maybe that's bad, but I just figured it's better. Yeah. yeah. So these are my functions. So just proving that you can make tables from functions, and it's not that bad. So like you, I was very much. Um, we're not getting tables with with data or number. There's data, but we're getting. So far, we've, we've hit NAs and then text data. Yeah. So what I thought I would do is play around a little bit with tidy text from Julia Silky and Dave Robinson. Excellent idea. So like, you're going to get sentiment for these words, I, right? It's exactly so what I did. the overall sentiment. Yeah, nice. Yes. Nice. So I was like, well, what's a good way to group things that's not too um, large? Like, I don't want like this massive table. So I was like, okay, do I want to do the clue or the answer? And I went with the answer because I didn't want to like strip out all of the numbers. And I just didn't. And then also does the answer, or if you're using the clue, I was like, I don't know that that gives you a sentiment because the clues are often plays on words. Yeah, yeah, I noticed that. They're, they're really oh. like, like, I don't know if I can ever get into these puzzles. I mean, I know a lot of people that, that do, but yeah. like, wow, it takes... It takes a while to get into it, I meant. Yeah. <laughs> these are tough yeah. clues. Yeah, some of these are hard. So I was like, you know, I played around with it a little, got to use a little Lubridate, um, which is always fun. So converting the numeric, I just wanted the month. And then I essentially went through, I did have some NA dates, so I just dropped those. Um, I'm definitely a, just get rid of the NA values, defaults. Sorry yeah. to everyone out there who does not believe in that. No, that's a good idea. That's a good um, idea. And then I, what did I do? Yeah, so I did that. And then I kind of played around with things. Um, and I just used, so Julia and Dave recommend three libraries. And this is from Tidy Text. Um, so I just went with one of them and I did a little join and got a nice little, actually, let's run some of this. Yeah. Let's see what we get. Running a whole bunch of stuff we don't need to run. And that's fine. So big, da- I didn't know what big Dave was, but I read it in, and then I just, I just worked with the times data. You could do all of them if you wanted, but basically, I got the month, the word, the sentiment, and then the count, like the oh, number perfect. of times that it appeared. Nice. So I was like, oh, okay. What I could do is I can group by um, month, and then this combines all the years. And then it was like I could take kind of the number one negative word and the number one positive word for each see month. See if times, see if times get seasonal. To- Effective disorder or something like that. <laughs> right. Winter are months, all, there are things like... Are we all so. negative in January? <laughs> so I ended up using... I was thinking about how I wanted to do this. I arranged it, um, and then I just did a slice max. Nice. Um, and then... Oh, yeah. Here's, like, the basic table. 
So you've got your month, your word, and then your sentiment. Um, and so I thought that was kind of fun. And then yeah. I was like, let's make it look a little nicer. So I went for a black and white theme, like a newspaper. That's nice. That Thank is really you. nice. What font so, is that? I just this is see. Libre. Oh, Libre Baskerville. Yeah, I was thinking of using Baskerville too. It's, it seems like such a, a great like writerly font. Like, yeah, so the New York yeah. Times, it turns out, uses yeah. Georgia, and Georgia is yeah. not on Google Fonts. I think I have Georgia, but I was like, oh, I'll just, we'll do Google Fonts so it's replicable for anybody at home doing this. Yeah, basketball is um, a total classic. I'm glad there's yeah. a free version of that. Yeah, so did that. Um, pretty happy with it. I couldn't get, like, it bothers me that this space is bigger than this space. Um, and so I spent some time, like, moving things around and just yeah, couldn't... Yeah get it where I wanted it. It's tough because like it doesn't center nicely and then like everything gets crowded, it gets too thin. I don't know. It's Yeah. It was tough. rough. Yeah. But, you know, made it work. Um yeah. I thought it was interesting, like, you know, how did I what's the best way to present things? Because there were a lot of ties, right? So February yeah. has yeah. multiple ties, um, for its, you know, most positive words. Yeah. Um and then it you know, like I think there's something here around like the spread. So almost always you see your negative word. There's always like a clear negative winner and then like yeah. a spread of positive winners. There's never really um, like June, abolish an elite. There we go. Done deal. Um, but there's, oh, okay. August, you see a lot more negative. I don't know what's happening in August. Um, yeah, people are right. not as happy in August, I guess. Um, yeah. Like that, that's an angry month. <laughs> that's right? what I'm seeing. Lots of anger. You're either idle or you're a rate. <laughs> right. You're gonna sack something loose. Or maybe sue. You get litigious too. Oh my god. You know, yeah. September starts to balance out. October, you know, a little more negative than positive. But so I thought this was, you know, and then I've got like my little source notes in here. Um, oh, nice. Yeah, I did not use. That looks fantastic. Of lowering, lowering the line. I thought of it later, and I was like, it's okay. It's but okay. I think it's okay. <laughs> If That's I were to redo this, yeah. or if I were to like keep working on this, I was really curious about doing something where instead of just looking at the top, it kind yeah. of did a full sum of all the negatives, and then a full sum of all the positives, and then it gave you like a positivity proportion. So if it was, let's take like blue and orange, if it's more positive, it's more blue, and like it would somehow color... That'd be interesting. Like the months themselves. Yeah. Yeah. So you yeah. could look at like January and be like, oh, that's really orange. It's a really angry month. Whereas yeah. February is blue and you could like see how that swings. So that to me was like, that would be a really interesting programmatic next step. And then maybe yeah. get a sample of like the most negative words. Um, or most Those are good ideas. I'm surprised there's no neutral. I guess that's just the way. They, these... So it's the, li it's the sentiment <laughs> library. That oh, I, I see. So it doesn't have that, I guess, right? Yeah, so this yeah. sentiment library, um, you know, and like tidy text, my name is R. It's a great book. Yeah, uh, that goes into like the all all of the things that you need to think about when you do this kind of work. But it is yeah. just, um, I think that it is just positive or neg like that's it. It's a very dichotomous. Yeah, that's right. Uh, speaking of table design, I love what you did with doing away with the column labels. Totally not needed. <laughs> it's obvious what's going on here. And you just you just use like the uh, <clears throat> the group labels to like yeah so everything. I did that that was let me go in here um I just dropped them by putting them in as blanks oh perfect uh, that, that's yeah, good because space like which is nice yeah yeah so you get a little space here and then I thought about like oh like decorative borders and I was like no it's almost like a newspaper column yeah um, that's what I'm seeing here that's the vibe I get totally 